Hello everyone, welcome to Lion Guest Studios. My name is Sahil Bosle. In this video, I will be sharing my experience which I faced while I was flashing EOSP on my primary phone, how the process failed and then how I recovered my phone back to the normal condition. So let's get started. This video will be divided into two sections. In the first section, we will talk about about what exactly happened while I was flashing EOSP and in the second section, we will talk about recovering a bricked phone. So before starting out, let me tell you what I mean by a bricked phone. Any electronic device on which when we try to flash some software and if it fails, then your device will be unusable. That's when a device is said to be in a bricked state. So this simply means that your device will be of no use anymore. So in the last month, I uploaded a video on how to download and build Android 11 from Android open source project. And I told you that I will even show you how to flash AOSP on an Android emulator or on a physical device. So in order to flash AOSP on an emulator, you just have to run a single command called emulator. I tried to run this command to flash AOSP on an emulator, but I was uh, facing errors related to emulator. I searched on Stack Overflow and every other resources which I could find on the internet, but I didn't find this solution. I even tried using the Android emulator which comes with the Android Studio but that too didn't work out. Now the only option left was flash OSP on a physical device. So I used this phone. So this is the phone which I used. This is Lenovo P2 and uh, on which I flashed OSP Android 11. And as per the title of this video, the process failed. Uh, so the flashing process deleted all the operating system files and I have only taken backup of my data and not the bootloader files. So after that, I tried switching on my phone uh, to see if it is booting or not and uh, it eventually booted up. It showed the Lenovo logo and then it uh, there was a black screen with steady uh, red indicator light. So at this position, uh, there was no operating system running on my phone and my power button was also not working. So I can't even go to the recovery mode or the fast boot mode. So I was facing the power button issue quite a few months back and it was not because of flashing USB. Now to turn off the phone, there were two options. First option was wait till the battery gets drained out and the second option was uh, to disassemble the phone. Now of course I can't wait till the battery gets drained out as it will have take a lot of time uh, because this phone has 5000 mAh battery and uh, waiting till long is a waste of time. That's why I choose the second option and disassemble the phone and I remove the battery connector from the motherboard so that my phone can get switched off and then I reattach the battery connector. After that, I press the power button and attach the charger to my phone to get into the fast boot mode. So after entering the fast boot mode, I connected my phone to my laptop and downloaded the TWRP recovery and lineage OS on Ubuntu and using this command. I installed TWRP recovery on my phone and then the TWRP recovery successfully flashed the lineage OS on my phone and my phone was working fine. There were no issues after that. Now if this thing happens to you, then what you can do is make sure that uh, your phone is booting up and it is at least showing the manufacturer's logo on the screen and also make sure that it can enter into fast boot mode. So if your phone can enter the fast boot mode, then there are high chances that you can get your bricked phone back to the normal conditions. So this was my entire experience which I faced while I was flashing AOSP on the physical phone. If you want to know how to install Lineage OS on a physical phone, then comment down below and I will surely make a video on that. If you like this video, then press the like button, share it with your friends and I will catch you up in the next video.